Hi, so I'm building, I'm working on a new project. I I abandoned my Core XY cube because it was getting too, too expensive in parts compared to a new printer. And I return more to the origin, to the do-it-yourself, to a cheaper version. So, uh, what I'm building, it's like a mini Prusa version. So it's gonna have, this is the ZX using one of these. I mean just using a few parts I I kept from the old cube. So this is the X. I'm using this plexiglass as a bed but for now it's just uh, testing. So this is my X. As you can see it's uh, it is like this. Here it's a piece of plexiglass extend two bolts. And here on this side is just um, one of these. I had these aluminium brackets for the motors, and uh, I just drilled two holes uh, in it so I can fix it to the profile. And it's very sturdy one piece. I'm gonna fix it. You know, I marked it around here, and this will be the X X. And I will probably stick this to it for now and we'll see how that goes. Maybe add some adjustments later but for now it's just project. This one, the ZX, I just drilled a hole from the bottom and put a, a screw to it. And this one holds everything in place. Uh, this one can lift for now See because it's not fixed, but I, I just realized because of the weight is not gonna move anyway So if I'm moving this Anyway, I can fix this as well, but We'll see about that and this is the y-x exactly the same as the x one a piece of plexiglass two holes for two screws to fix it here one for the pulley uh, this one I didn't connect it yet okay and here I'm just using this that I had for the ZX on my big cube it's basically one roller here and two here I also have another one if I want to make like four but for now I'm just using it like this uh, how I fix this one is basically I just use, let me zoom a bit here. So I use the hexel and cut a, a square so I can fit through this uh, uh, nut. What does that do on the back? Because I don't really remember. Okay, it's the nut for the center wheel for this one. So I just use the hexel and cut this piece. You see? Uh, and then I drilled two holes in it here and here and uh, I fixed it with uh, nuts see here one here and one in the bottom and that's basically all the custom parts so basically I am using these two of these that are like here I just cut with the hexo bit here for the nut and just uh, I actually I use this hole from here not drilled another and I just drilled in this part in this aluminium one and uh, here just uh, two that I drill them like around here that's all the custom parts okay and plus the plexiglass instead of the plexiglass you could use like some wood but uh, it would rather it ideally it would be like some hardwood because otherwise this one will start to get a play hardwood will be good but that's more expensive and harder to find this one because uh, i want to use more recycled parts on this uh, build so this this plexiglass you see it has this uh, these dots it's because it's a diffuser from the on uh, LCD screen. If you can find some of these in uh, a broken LCD screen. Okay, this one will fix it from here, I think. 
with a bracket like this or something like that. Okay. Oh, and the ZX, I'm just using this. It's fixed in two bolts for from this and this one we'll see how we're gonna fix it. Basically, I think it's almost working right now. Okay, for the extruder, I'm gonna use just my old system. Just I'm gonna use another straight of this one. It's gonna be fixed here. And this one is gonna be fixed in bolts here. Okay, and something else I was working on. So I have I had this uh, extruder that normally would work. Uh, you put this this gear on a motor shaft and you stick it in here. Oh, sorry. Problem is uh, this one is quite heavy, and uh, putting it here just. The one support here is gonna bend uh, this one too much so I'm either gonna put it around here and use a uh, um, bowden tube here or I am thinking I, I got from a printer this uh, one that came with this it's a stepper motor it was fixed in here and I'm just thinking of using this one. Uh, I'm gonna stick this one over here. And then this one can fit here. With the bolt here and probably oh, actually like this. See one bolt here and one here. And this one is very light but I need to make some tests to see if it has the strength to push the filament hard enough or not. I also have like a bit of test gear here. I'm using the ESP32 running uh, MicroPython because you can just uh, run the code uh, directly. No need to upload or something. And uh, this is a stepper, the cheaper one, the 4988 or 89, something like that. It's noisy, but for testing, it's uh, it's great. Uh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna make another video on uh, playing with this with Python and see how much strength it has. Hope you enjoy my new project. This is a lot more in the do-it-yourself uh, area. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy it, leave some comments or like and subscribe if you want to see some more.